everybody welcome back to diva style so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys um how i do my mugs you guys i had to go back and redo and try it and my mugs are now on point as you guys remember this was the very first one i did and it came out you know super faded um what i learned was i did not uh leave it under my press long enough so now i do um 400 and I leave them in for about three and a half minutes. You could do uh, anywhere from four to five though. But I just do mine on three and a half. So I'm going to be using the cry cut mugs, the 12 ounce. And I'm also going to be using, um, honestly speaking, sublimation paper. I already have uh, my images that I'm going to be doing printed out. Um, you guys, I uploaded these images on my Patreon page of, you know, all of the teams. Um, what else? I'm also going to be showing you guys how I package it. Uh, this was just an idea that I came up with because, like I said, I got an event coming up on the 25th. So, this time I'm going to set them up and present them on the table. But, let's go ahead and get up into this craft. All right, you guys, so I'm getting ready to put my mug through, and I wear a glove just to ensure that I don't burn myself, y'all. Now, I'm trying to do this on camera, but pretty much all, all I would do is put it through just like that. And then it's got a handle right here. And then try to ensure that I'm going to get from edge to edge. Go ahead, smash it down. Hit OK on my heat press, and that starts the timer. And I pretty much just wait. And I'm just going to move it over just a little bit because it was off on this side a little bit and leave it for about another uh, 30 seconds. All right, you guys, I'm going to come on here really quickly and tell y'all to please uh, check, double check your heat settings because in your time, because let me tell y'all, we was making socks last night, so our timer was set on 60 seconds. So, when I did the first cup, it was set on 60 seconds. It did not dawn on me that it was not at, you know, the right time until I put my second cup in. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, so, y'all, I put the first cup back in there. I really don't know if it's going to come out and be, um, you know, like if the paper moved. A little off if it's gonna be smeared I, I don't know I'm hoping y'all just be careful of that please be careful of that like just be careful it did not come out too bad not too bad Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad. This one, the football one, of course, is the only one that came out 
that I did um, the correct time for. And look at it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like, look at that. That is a good cup right there. Look at that. This one, like I said, also same thing. I didn't realize I had the correct, that I had the wrong time on there until it was like too late. Ooh, but look at that. That one said, I don't care. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to do what I do. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see the color? Look at that. Ooh. Nice. And now I'm going to show you guys how I package it. So I purchased these 8x10 uh, cellophane sheets. I will leave the link in the description box. Um, I use these for my socks as well as for my mugs. This is what um, the socks look like after we uh, package them and we got like a little label. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how I package the mugs. 